Hello guys, time for scary videos. Today with a creepy sighting in a backyard and some spooky business in an abandoned school. Now let's buckle up and stay frosty. The following clips come to us from Muro75 from Germany who is experiencing some paranormal activity in his apartment and has filmed some of the startling events. He writes on the first video, something like this happens almost every night. Some constant and very loud banging can be heard from Muro's front door. However, once he approaches, nobody and nothing can be seen from the peephole. Some commenters warned Muro not to open the door. There are many superstitions regarding knocking on the door. Some say a knocking means a family member is trying to reach out to you, but others say it is a predictor of death or bad news incoming. The second video is even more puzzling. He writes as the caption. Here is your proof, pay attention to the balcony door. While Muro is inspecting the window and door area, a dark figure can be seen creeping up behind the uploader. The apparition is completely dark. Its arm can be seen outstretched in front of it and its head looks like it might be covered in a cloak. To no surprise, when it turns around, the figure is nowhere to be seen. When it turns back towards the door, it is flung open. It does appear that the spirit that was knocking has managed to enter the house. What are your thoughts? Is this a legitimate haunting? Are you also looking for some great Black Friday deals? Or are you perhaps thinking about the upcoming Christmas season? How about an amazing Japanese steel knife set? A big shout out to Kamikodo Knives for sponsoring today's video. Kamikodo is producing durable and razor sharp steel kitchen knives and tap into more than 800 years of traditional techniques from Honju, Japan. Each blade is carefully crafted, perfected and inspected to ensure the highest quality of their sharp single bevel knives. And their steel is directly sourced from Japan. Their knives are safely stored in a beautiful heavy-duty ashwood box, which not only looks very high quality, but it also makes the knife set a wonderful gift for anyone. They have a vast array of Japanese steel knives, such as this three-piece Kenpeki knife set, which comes with the Nakiri vegetable knife, the slicing knife, and this very handy utility knife. I still remember opening the Kamikoto knife box myself for the first time. I mean, who wouldn't love to cut their vegetables with this bad boy, am I right? Each Kamikoto knife goes through a rigorous 19-step process that takes several years from start to finish to complete. And the best of it all, Kamikoto is so confident about their knives that each knife comes with a lifetime guarantee. They are currently having a massive holiday sale. And on top of that sale, you can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code code FROSTMARE. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash FROSTMARE and use promo code FROSTMARE to save an extra $50 today. The next clip was uploaded to Reddit by user John Slang, who captured this footage on his ring surveillance camera outside his house at 5 am. He wrote, I think I caught a ghost on my ring. Brightened the video with my iPhone. Keep an eye on the far left of the recording. John states that he has no idea who or what this could have been and that he was pretty spooked by the sighting. Many commenters have mentioned that the figure in the video appears to be headless and dressed all in white. There's no surveillance footage showing any person entering the area and John knows this is not a person from his household. Everybody was asleep at the time. So was this a paranormal incident? The following short clip 
was taken during a tennis tournament. The uploader was filming one of the matches when something unexpected appeared on the court. Let's take a look. On the left of the field, a dark shadow that appears around two or three feet tall is seen moving smoothly and quickly towards the center of the court. And then, as the tennis ball approaches, the figure disappears into thin air. What do you guys make of this clip? Is this a real ghost sighting? Was it something else? Maybe a reflection of some sorts? Or was it just editing? In this clip, we're taking a look at another paranormal investigation from Dark Life. AKA Dennis. This time he's visiting a location known as the House of the Witch. This house has clearly been long abandoned. But interestingly, there still seems to be all sorts of furniture and belongings left inside. Dennis starts the investigation by placing cameras in the main living area of the house and leaves to the hallway to watch the cameras from a distance. Doesn't take long until some mysterious events start happening. Some interference is heard, followed by a blood-curdling scream. What could possibly have made such a noise? This does not sound like any normal human scream to me. The furniture is also pushed by an unseen force. And then the camera is launched from its place. Who or what do you think could have caused this chaos? After Dennis approaches the closet, we can see something is causing the hangers in the closet to sway on their own. After seeing this, Dennis rightfully decides it is probably time to leave the witch's house and wraps up the investigation. What do you guys think of this installment in the Dark Life series of investigations? As always, please check out his channel if you can. The next clip was uploaded by Quema Honing Paranormal Group, which is located in southwestern Pennsylvania. They claim the entity caught in the video is the Lantern Man, who's known around that area in the United States. There are multiple documented sightings over the last 10 years. The Lantern Man of the Quema Honing Dam is an entity that is said to lurk in and around the reservoir. He is most often encountered as a distant, out of place red light where there should be no logical reason to be one. Those few who have encountered him up close claim him to appear skeletal and muddy with white eyes. The man who filmed the clip was driving home from a fishing trip through a forest road, which was remote and would not logically have had people walking on the side alone at this hour. After driving for a short while, the dashcam footage picks up a creature on the right shoulder of the road. The entity looks to be around 6 feet tall, very pale white skin, dark pants and is holding what does appear to be a lantern in his right hand. It definitely is odd to have someone or something walking around alone at night in this way. Is this a paranormal capture? Let me know your thoughts. The next clip comes from Toronto, Canada and was filmed by a woman named Melissa Smith. Melissa captured this footage from a baby camera 
after she unfortunately suffered a miscarriage. She also stated that the same night she lost her child, toys turned on and off and music would randomly start playing that night as well. The creepy events escalated from there, says Melissa. She believes the spirit haunting her is the baby she lost. In the video, the crib is completely empty, however, something seems to be moving the baby blanket in unpredictable motions. But creepiest of all, look behind the crib. Do you see that? There appears to be a face, peering in from close to the floor. Many commenters have said that this does not appear to be the spirit of a baby but rather seems to be something demonic, especially due to the sinister looking face peeking into the crib. What are your thoughts? Is this Melissa's child sending her signs from beyond? Was something more darker responsible for this? The next clip comes to us from China and is an investigation of an area known as Corpse Island. The channel, Supernatural, features a small group of paranormal investigators that visit lots of haunted and abandoned locations. This derelict building they are visiting in this episode appears to have been a morgue in the past, since it is rumored to still have some coffins inside. The team is checking out one of the doorways when something catches the cameraman's eye. What appears to be either a woman or a young girl is briefly seen in the doorway before disappearing behind the wall. Unfortunately, this was not their last spirit encounter for the night. Again, we can see just the side of what appears to be some sort of figure, but once the light is shined on them, they once again disappear quickly. They make it further into this old building and find a room that seems to be full of coffins, along with various items that appear to belong to shrines for the dead inside. Did you hear that too? Was this a moaning? How's that possible? The team hears a crashing noise behind them and decides to exit the location as quickly as possible. What do you guys make of this investigation? Do you think the team may have upset some spirits by coming to this location? The next clip was uploaded to YouTube by user Angel Martinez. This video was taken near Albuquerque, New Mexico, just off of Route 66. Angel says he saw the creature in his headlights before pulling out his phone to film. He states, They were skinny, bony and walking on their back legs. They may have had some sort of dead animal on their heads. And there were at least 20 or more. They made weird noises as they ran from us. It sounded nothing like a cow or other animal. What is that? It's fucking scary. In the middle of nowhere. Weird. Whoa. <gasps> In the video, we can make out two pair of eyes around the bush, and they appear to notice Angel's vehicle straight away. Angel believes these were skinwalkers. Some commenters have guessed these also could be Wendigos. What do you think? A strange creature? Or was it just cows after all?
The following video was uploaded by paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco. This time Alberto and his team are visiting a school that has been abandoned since 2015 when there was a fire that resulted in multiple unfortunate deaths. The team starts the investigation by making their way through the quick overgrown grass outside the school. They call out multiple times to see if perhaps there are other people exploring tonight. However, they seem to be completely alone in the abandoned school. Se oyó algo que se cayó, ¿no? Sí, esto se está cayendo, vean. The team makes their way downstairs to this large open room, and that is when they notice movement behind them. ¿Cómo es que era este espacio antes? ¿Qué, qué, 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 qué? qué? Oh, 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 aquí, 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 todo esto. Toda la estructura, toda la estructura está moviendo mucho. A ver. Ay. Uy, me tropecé. Pero, a ver, es como un efecto péndulo, ¿ya vieron? Just the wind? Or is it possible? Something is trying to communicate with Alberto in this building. Cuidado, cuidado. After exploring the building further, the team makes their way outside, but the strange occurrences are not quite finished yet. Hola. Mira, 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 mira. Prendió otra vez igual hasta el amarillo. Mira. As we can see clearly in the video, nobody was touching the blue door before it started shaking. But only moments after that, something can be seen on the upper floor of the building, right behind Alberto. Han quedado invadidas por todo esto, no? Invadidas por lo que es que we que. Allá, güey, se me hizo ver una sombra. The shadow is seen quickly moving from inside the window and then disappearing out of sight. Is this possibly another attempt to get the team's attention? What do you guys make of this paranormal investigation? Do you believe the spirits of those lost in the fire still linger in the school? Now we will be looking into the haunting of Maddie Bark. Maddie is experiencing paranormal activity in her home and is sharing her experiences on her channel. Maddie lives in Maine and it appears from her videos that this haunting has been plaguing her for over a year now. Let's take a look into some of the occurrences around her home. I swear to God I saw it. You saw it? I saw it and I heard it. It was like a weird screech. I swear to God I saw something. It was on the tree line. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh my god. What the is that? Yeah, let's, let's go inside. Let's go. I don't know what that was. What the In her first clip, she spots something outside her window and quickly pulls her phone out to record it. The figure appears to be mostly draped in white, walking rather quickly, but the most disturbing part, what many viewers notice, is how tall the entity is. Many pointed out that it appears to be as tall or even taller than the trees in Maddie's backyard. Maddie quickly turns on the light to spot the creature, but unfortunately it is out of sight by then. Could this be the first sighting of the spirit that haunts Maddie's house? Things escalate quickly from there in the second clip. Maddie? Maddie? Oh my god. Maddie? Who is the fuck? Oh my god. Loud noises were heard from outside the house, so Maddie and her friend decide to come down while filming. Do you see anything? No, I don't see anything. Her clock closed. Once again, an apparition in white can be seen outside Maddie's house. The figure lingers at the 
door for a few moments before disappearing. The third video that Maddie posted was taken from her basement one night and she believes to have captured poltergeist activity. After the boxes fall, or are pushed by an unseen force, what looks to be a face can be seen from the shelves. Some viewers have said this haunting seems more like a demon than a lost spirit. What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching. 